Hello everybody, welcome to another Wednesday Heat Check. Today we are going to take a look at another one of those sort of basic sauces that you can find darn near anywhere, including fast food restaurants, including your store. <laughs> you might have some of this sauce in little packets in your car. You never know. Go out and check. But if you don't, we are talking about, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, you will now, we are talking about the perfect hot sauce. It says it on the bottle. One drop does it. Louisiana. Louisiana hot sauce. So I've had I've had little packets of this, you know, hit the car from a couple different chicken joints. And to be honest with you, it's been so long that I kind of forgotten about it. Because normally this is like a Tabasco household or uh, occasionally, you know, Frank's. Frank's is good. Man, there's a fuzzy on my shirt. None of you guys warned me about that? Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> and, you know, we've tried Texas Pete in the past. And, you know, Pete's, Pete's okay. Pete's pretty good. But Louisiana is one that, you know, typically I don't really think about all that often. But mm. smells great. But it is kind of in the same similar vein. Ingredients list, relatively short, aged peppers, distilled vinegar, and salt. And that's what you'll find on most of the bottles of the basic, uh, basic hot sauces, you know. The original Louisiana hot sauce adds plenty of flavor and just the right amount of heat. Use it generously to spice up your favorite foods. And they give you a little recipe. <laughs> Fiery ranch dipping sauce. Well... Let's try her out here and let's uh, let's jog the old memory on how how Louisiana hot sauce rolls. Wow, very salty, very salty. I would say out of all the basics, and again, when I talk about the basics, I'm saying vinegar-based aged pepper sauces. You know what? I should do a ranking of these one day. Anyway, so when I talk about this, I'm saying Tabasco, Frank's, Texas Pete, those sort of sauces. Um, this is honestly, it's got to be the, the, the saltiest one I've had. Try another little bit here. Yeah. Ugh. Salty. Good amount of vinegar in there. The reason I like these basic sauces, I just, I love vinegar. I love vinegar. I love the sourness of vinegar. I love adding it to things. I love getting nice french fries and just malt vinegaring the crap out of them. So it has a great balance of acidity, a little salty, but it's not a hot sauce. I honestly think that Frank's Red Hot might be slightly, slightly hotter than Louisiana. And I'm also trying to think, what chicken restaurant serves this? Because I wonder if it's Popeye's or church, churches. I'm sure one of you can tell me. I know that when we did the Texas Pete episode you guys reminded me of where you can find Texas Pete which I've promptly forgotten but that's just how I roll but yeah I mean it's very specific I know I've got whatever anyway it, it, it's a good sauce I think it's a good enhancer but and, the, and here's another thing too as you're holding it in your mouth it feels like it's like oh, I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you you know you know like when you taste a sauce with um, with like habaneros in it? It's a very distinctive taste. You know it's getting ready to kick your butt. This, it's like, it's here. It's here. And then it's not. <laughs> it's weird. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could see this being something that a lot of people would like just because it's not this uber hot sauce. You know, something I'm going to sprinkle on you know, a coney dog or, you know, some fries or my eggs in the morning or something like that. But it's an excellent sauce. 
a little salty, not crazy hot, good vinegar taste. So maybe someday we'll do a, we'll do a ranking on some of these basic like vinegar based aged pepper sauces. So yeah, there we go. Louisiana, Louisiana, Louisiana. Which one do you guys prefer? <laughs> don't, don't, don't fight in the comments about how it's pronounced. Um, Louisiana. That's just crazy talk. So anyway, here we go. Louisiana hot sauce, the perfect hot sauce, as they say on the bottle. Very basic label too, which I kind of actually appreciate in a way. But that's it for today. If you guys have any suggestions for hot sauces you would like me to try, put them down in the comments below. Or, got a P.O. box in the description down below. You can send me a sauce or whatever else, just as long as it's legal. Make sure that it's legal in your state, following all federal law, okay? <laughs> But I'd be more than happy to try anything you send. And uh, yeah, the only other thing, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.